Today we're going to be taking a look at the new mobile B15. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the new mobile B15 in the house today. Shout out to new mobile for actually sending me this device out. They also sent me out the B10 and this is going to be a little bit of a cheaper phone. But we're going to be unboxing this right after so... Definitely turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for this device unboxing as well. But getting on to this, this device is going to be an entry level device. Uh, this is going to be $210 in Amazon. If you guys want to go ahead and purchase this at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below as well as the comment section. Those are going to be affiliate links, but they do help out the channel by giving me a little kickback when you purchase from them. So first and foremost, taking a look at some of the specifications before we unbox this. It looks like we have a 6.78 inch full HD plus 90 hertz refresh rate screen so I'm sure it's going to be a very nice screen and we'll see that in a second. We have 4 gigabytes of RAM. 128 gigabytes of internal storage, which is nice to see because usually on phones that are, you know, under $300, we usually have 32 to 64 gigabytes. So 128 is very, very good to see. We also have 18 watt fast charging and an ultra capacity 5,000 milliamp battery, which is absolutely more than enough to go throughout the day. And also for that camera that you guys saw on here for the B15, the rear facing camera, uh, the main camera is actually going to be 48 megapixels. The secondary is going to be five and the other two are going to be two megapixels and we'll take a look at that camera right now and show you guys some samples as well but let's get into the unboxing all right guys so i've been excited about this um i've seen some other videos on this and it seems that people actually really like this device but i've had this sitting in the studio for a second so i'm glad i finally get to break it open and look at it but yeah as you guys see 48 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 and then we have an 8 megapixel frame now i've heard a few youtubers say that the uh, charging isn't 18 watts it's actually really slow and i'm going to test that for myself and we'll see if it's actually decent uh, so definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that when I do the full review. But first and foremost, we have the phone right here and we're going to go ahead and put that to the side. We're also going to go ahead and take out everything else right here. And I love new mobiles unboxing experiences because there's just so much inside of here. It's not just a booklet. So first and foremost, we have our stickers. We have our startup manual. We have a tempered glass screen protector we have a whole tpu case that they gave us in here as well and we have it looks like our 18 watt charger and usb a to usb type c so you know what's what's funny is that we don't even get these anymore in most phone boxes samsung and of course we have our little ejector tool yeah i don't know what's i don't know what's going on with samsung but i have a personal vendetta against them right now because they don't offer chargers in their phone boxes anymore what are you guys thinking like Y'all really trying to make that money. Also, this phone is most likely going to be a giveaway as well. So this is for y'all. Uh, specifications we went over. So let's go ahead and finally take a look at the phone. So taking a look at the back of this device, very, very sexy device. Um, it actually feels extremely premium in the hand. I'm sure they copied Samsung on this, but this feels like glass, but I can tell it is plastic just by the sound. Uh, so they are using that glastic type of material that uh, Samsung is using and it feels like glass and metal. It's weird. It's all plastic. I'm pretty sure. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure this is all plastic. It feels like glass and metal though. This feels like an I don't know, like an iPhone 13 Pro, honestly. Now, first and foremost, obviously we have that new mobile watermark on the back. Getting into the camera, as I said before, we have a 48 megapixel main, five megapixel secondary, and we have two two megapixel uh, third and fourth cameras right there. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to go ahead and test those out. Right side of this pretty device, we have our power button that's actually gonna double as a fingerprint sensor, which I'm super hyped about. I've heard good things about that. And just right above that, we have our volume up and down rocker. Top of the device, we have our noise canceling mic. Left side of the device, it looks like we have our SIM tray. Bottom of the phone, we have our speaker, as well as our USB type C port in the middle. We have another noise canceling mic to the right of that. And guess what? It looks like we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Wow, that's so great to see. There's so many companies that are taking this out 
and I'm honestly just pissed about it. But thank you, New Mobile, for keeping this in here. You, you guys are uh, a part of the good guys. Now we're gonna go ahead and boot this up, and we're gonna use that fingerprint sensor that's actually gonna double as a power button. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how this display looks. I've heard really, really good things. Uh, we do have that hole punch notch at the top in the middle right there, and this is gonna be rated at eight megapixels. I'm not thinking that these cameras are going to be amazing, but I am hoping they are at least passable or at least better than the Galaxy A12 and A13, even though this is probably a little bit of a cheaper device uh, than those devices. But let's go ahead and get inside the phone. So this fingerprint sensor, first and foremost, I set this up super quick fingerprint sensor. This is actually very accurate. This is more accurate than the Galaxy A13 5G. Uh, so just a heads up to everybody out there, if you want a phone that has a good fingerprint sensor, you definitely have one on the new mobile B15. So uh, that fingerprint is very accurate, very quick, loving it. And I love that they put it on the side of the device uh, with the power key, that is my favorite. Now this very much surprised me. This display is absolutely beautiful. The contrast and the colors on this just absolutely pop. They're very, very punchy. Um, so the display isn't going to be bad at all. This is gonna be 90 Hertz, full HD. Looks beautiful. You guys are definitely not going to be sad about this display whatsoever. You're not going to regret it. Beautiful, beautiful display. And we're going to go ahead and check out the speakers later on as well as the display watching a 4K video. And we're going to see how that looks as well. But going into the drop down bar menu, I'm sure you guys have a few other options. We have Wi Fi, Bluetooth, Do Not Disturb, Flashlight, Auto Rotate, Battery Saver. We also have that old notification. We also have Airplane Mode, Screencast right here, Screen Record, uh, Location, and Nearby Share. And there's a few things that are hidden right here that we're going to go down here with. And uh, yeah, so we have bedtime mode, focus mode, uh, storage, dark theme, night light, data saver, hotspot. I don't know why they always hide these, man. Can can I go ahead and pop this up there? Cool. Because I, I, I want to set that on dark mode. Let's go ahead and set that up. I don't know why they always hide the most important or the or the or the things that people want. I, th I think everyone wants to turn on dark mode. I, I mean, you can do it in the settings as well, but whatever. But this is pretty much uh, stock Android, as you guys can see, with a little bit of a skin over it. Uh, but if you guys do like stock Android, you guys like Motorola or Google devices, this is going to look like one of them. Going through the UI looks good, looks nice. I love these wallpapers as well, and I'm sure they have some better ones. Man, this the screen is super, super huge. So this is going to be a hair over the Google 6 Pro. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit bigger. Um, you know, I just noticed that we actually did have a little bit of a lip around the entire phone. Uh, the bottom was kind of obvious, but honestly, very, very thin bezels, very thin bezels. Uh, I like what I'm seeing. We also have our headset up there as well. We are running Android 11 and the haptic feedback I just felt right now actually feels really good. That feels premium, so happy about that. We also have a little center right there from New Help. Uh, you guys can go ahead and ask questions. I'm sure that's like a live chat room to go ahead and ask a few uh, questions if you have any. But we're going to go ahead and take a photo. And I had to go and roll over here to pick up this game. Great game on the Nintendo Entertainment System right here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take a photo and test out the camera on this and see how it looks. Um, the thing I love about these games is the artwork. So I'm sure these colors are going to pop right now. Three, two, one. Very, very quick shutter button right there. Taking our first photo, looks good. Saturation is good, color is good. Sharpness is absolutely great. And this is probably because we're in good lighting and uh, not so good lighting. It's probably not gonna do that good, but this looks excellent in very good lighting. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and test that out in lower lighting uh, for the full review later on. But uh, so far, first impressions, it looks good. We also have our video and we can shoot up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. We have our pro mode right there, which they just call professional. That's cool, you guys are different, that's lit. We also have our portrait. We have our night mode, which I'm really interested in checking out. And for our more, we have slow motion, macro lens, QR scan, panorama, selfie panorama, and we have our time-lapse. Gonna definitely go ahead and check those out in the full review. 
um, but that's cool that we have those. Last thing I wanna do though is actually go on YouTube and test out the speaker uh, because there is only one speaker on here. It is going to be a mono speaker, but I've heard good things about it. And we're gonna test out the screen because that screen is popping right now. I just wanna make sure it's on 90 hertz. It looks like it is on 90 hertz, but you never know. So we're gonna go ahead and check if it is on screen refresh rate. It is on 90 and you guys can go ahead and conserve battery life and go ahead and turn it to 60 Hertz if you would like to or auto select if you want to select the best refresh rate for that application. All right guys, so this is only a 1080p screen but it lets us go up to 1440p uh, 60 frames per second. So let's just go ahead and try that out, right? Ooh, this display looks really, really good. I'm sure you guys can see that. The contrast and the colors on this are, are kind of like Samsung's, honestly. Uh, this is this display is actually a lot better than the A13 5G. So, yeah, this display is absolutely beautiful. And we're testing the speaker out right now. It, it, it has good bass. It has very clear sound. And, and it's actually very loud as well. And we're going to go ahead and test that out. Um, on a song right now instead of this video right here, but this display man this display 210 bucks like a few years ago. You couldn't get anything close to this You know you were looking at a, a 480p screen or a 720p screen with You know 16 gigabytes of ROM and 1 gigabyte of RAM, so uh, I'm, I'm really uh, I'm really liking this device and I'm looking forward to the full review <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're gonna pop into some NCS right now, and we're gonna see how this sounds. Let's go ahead and pop this up. Ooh, we got an ad, let's go ahead and turn this down. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this up. Oh yeah, this is, this, this bumps so loud. Excellent speaker for the price. For $210, this is the best speaker I've ever seen. Um, and for the display as well, I'd probably say the same exact thing. Uh, the display and speaker on this device are really, really nice, which is why I'm super scared to see if that 18 watt charger rating is fake and we're gonna go ahead and test it out. But I did actually update this phone when I booted it up. So hopefully that was the issue and the 18 watt charging uh, is fixed, but I'm gonna go ahead and update you guys, but this is gonna probably take the place in 2022 for the best budget phone so far. So this is the king currently. This is the king budget phone currently. Um, if you guys uh, want me to check out something else or if any company watching this wants to send me a device, definitely go ahead and hit me up in my business email. And if you guys wanna go and purchase device, Use the link in my comment section down below as well as the description. Yeah, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this unboxing. If I did offer you guys some value, definitely leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you're not part of the tech gang already. Also, hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safam from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.